Later today, we'll drop a thousand golf balls out of the basket of a hot air balloon from a height of 50 feet. And the closest to the pin wins. Now our goal of $100,000 is an especially high bar. But the challenge is worth it because... Truman also serves people who maybe have had good jobs or had jobs and now are finding themselves without jobs or without any kind of health insurance. It's a very important part of our mission statement that we provide high quality care regardless of the ability to pay. Back at the balloon drop, we've got some trouble here. Higher wind than expected. Mm. It's easy to have a soft spot for babies. Now, this event, another nice shot, is raising funds to update Truman Medical Center's Lakewood Family Birthplace, which currently delivers over 30% of the babies in Jackson County. The percentage there just absolutely astounded me. So I think if those kind of numbers, if people can see that and understand how many people are actually getting services already, they'll start to understand that there needs to be more support here because of the good work that they're doing. We ask for the financial assistance of anyone who can. We also ask that you help advocate within your circles of influence in the community the cause and the programs that we provide. Again, Jake Jacobs. I believe a private gift to this particular agency is uh, probably one of the better investments you can make as, as a donor. And I know that because it's my agency that monitors the performance there and we see what's happening there on basically a day-to-day -day basis. Our caregivers have very strong ideas about our donors. It's a beautiful thing that someone would just open, you know, give their money to an organization like this. I think it's a beautiful thing. And I think it's a gift from God to touch someone hard to do some things like that for them. Like every healthy family, we want our children to be as independent as possible. And that means that they may someday leave home. One of his hopes is eventually that he would like to live with his brother um, here in Kansas City. So um, he always keeps his bags packed and hope that one of these days he will come and he's ready. Our goal is for each of our residents to become as independent as possible. Some might achieve that dream, some may not. We all have dreams. It makes me feel great that he has that dream to, to move on. Whether or not Billy's dream will come true, we remain dedicated to providing the love, education, and personal resources to feed the opportunity that it could. One of our staff eloquently summed up what we do. We visit people's homes and we give them what they need. TNC. Home. We had a great family, always having fun together. And Dad was the best. He really was our hero. He always took care of us, all of us except himself. He was too busy, too proud to be bothered with the chest pains, the dizziness, the shortness of breath. He said it was no big deal. I thought Dad would be there for us always. I guess he did too. Know the signs. Go to the ER, South Crest Hospital are the attitudes you need to succeed. At the age of seven, he and his family lived in an open-sided lean-to made of wooden poles and gathered scrub. At nine, after a sudden illness, his mother dies. At 11, he briefly attends school. His formal education totals less than one year. At 23, he runs for his home state's legislature. He is defeated. Also at 23, his business partnership fails. The debt of this retail venture takes him years to repay. At 25, he is elected to the state's legislature. He implements an internal improvement project, nearly bankrupting his home state. At 34, he is defeated for nomination to the U.S. Congress. At 36, he is elected to the U.S. Congress, but he is asked not to return for a following term. At 41, his eldest son dies. At 45, he is defeated for the U.S. Senate. At 49, he is defeated again for the U.S. Senate. And in 1860, at the age of 51, Abraham Lincoln is elected president of the United States. Lincoln said, it is difficult to make a man miserable when he feels he is worthy of himself and claims kindred to the great God who made him.